people often say math has nothing to do with real life in this tutorial i'm going to make a connection between the math kinematics graph to real life what do you see every day on the road let's get it started with one dimensional or linear okay so now change in position right you can say this is change in position change in velocity and acceleration if i write this statement rest at 2 meter and velocity change in velocity is 0 and ac change, uh, acceleration is acceleration is constant is 0 and if i ask you to convert this statement to uh, dt vt and at graph how can you do it well that's pretty simple you're going to this is your at this is your uh, vt and this is your uh, dt all right so converting this three statement to dt vt at is pretty simple okay this is uh, 2 meter right and the velocity is 0 and the acceleration is 0 now from this 2d i want you to convert this to 1d at three different snapshot what does that mean that means if someone show you three pictures right at three different time how would this look like all right this how this is how it look like if someone give you uh, maybe two two different pictures two snapshot position in meter position in meter zero one two three zero one two three okay if you look at time at zero second you will see the man is standing at not at zero meter not at one meter but at two meters if you look at this is what you see when time is zero second you look at the picture and you see uh, you see the man is at two meter if you look at any other time like the time is let's say five seconds you will see the man is still at two meters so this is uh, what uh, this means so this 1d agrees with this 2d and this 2d agrees uh, with this uh, three statement now let's make it uh, more interesting instead of uh, the object being at rest let's make the object moving object is moving so uh, change in position change uh, positive change in position we can say that positive uh, change in uh, uh, change in position this is what it means positive change in position positive constant velocity this is what it means and acceleration is zero okay if that is the case now let's see what we can do with this scenario two this is dt this is vt and this is at okay so acceleration is uh, obviously zero and velocity is constant positive constant and change in uh, position is of course uh, positive let's say this is two and let's say this is four where do i put this stick figure if i make it to 1d so position in meter 0 1 2 3 and 4 position in meter 0 1 2 3 and 4 if you look at when time is 0 second where are you going to see this uh, stick man you're going to see him at uh, 0 meter when you look at time is equal to 1 second where do you going to see you're not going to see at 0 you're not going to even see at 1 you're going to see him at 2 meter why is that because 
y is equal to 2d, y is equal to 2t or rather dt, d of t is equal to d is equal to 2t and d is equal to 2 here, okay. Three scenario, scenario number three, negative, negative zero. This negative means a negative change in position. That's what it means. Negative constant velocity. This is what it means. Okay, now when it comes to three uh, graph, we're going to do one, two, three graphs. Again, you have uh, this is dt, this is vt, and this is at. Okay, acceleration is still zero. Velocity, as you see, velocity is uh, is negative. So velocity is a negative. Uh, displacement is, uh, let's say, like this. Okay. Now, if I ask you to convert it to 1D, how are you going to do that? Well, pretty simple. Uh, two different snapshot position in meter. Uh, uh, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And if I have the stick figure and you look at the stick figure when the time is 0 second, you're going to see him over here. And if you look at the stick figure when the time is 1 second, right? You're not going to see him at zero second. You're not going to see him at one sec uh, at one negative one meter. You want to see him at negative uh, two meter. Why is that? Because this displacement versus time is y is equal to negative two t. Okay, so. This dt agrees with this vt, this vt agrees with this at, and this at agrees with this three condition, and this 2d geometry agrees with this 1d uh, snapshot. Uh, uh, in this case, you tell the story, this is the picture version of the story, and this is geometry, and this is just a statement. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much linear, right? dt is linear, dt is linear, uh, I'm sorry, dt is linear over here, dt is linear over here. So the maximum degree is linear over here. Now we're going to make the maximum degree uh, quadratic. Okay, so again we're going to do um, delta p, delta v and acceleration. What does that mean? Uh, change in position, let's say change in position is positive positive, negative, negative, positive, positive, negative, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Let's make it obvious. Uh, the velocity is uh, increasing, increasing uh, positive direction. So, velocity increases positive direction. Uh, positive velocity decrease, decrease in positive velocity. Decrease in, in magnitude of negative velocity, increase in, in negative velocity. Uh, this is constant, so this is easy. And this either positive change, uh, change in position positive quadratic or change in position negative quadratic. Let's draw the geometry.
dt dt at okay the first one is pretty easy okay so red lights green red turns green this is what you see when red turns as you move to east okay uh, I want you to convert it to 1d okay so you have you have a car uh, this is called a velocity vector velocity increases and this is called acceleration vector acceleration remain constant the object is speeding up why is that because you look at it at three different time and this is what you observe the velocity and acceleration are at the same direction so object is speeding up I want you to write the equation b is equal to v i t plus half a t square velocity is positive acceleration is positive okay now we're going to do scenario two scenario two we're going to convert it to geometry dt dt a t all right so the dt would be very simple And the acceleration is of course negative. Okay, so real life scenario: What happened? If you have a car, all right, move to the positive, move to the east. So this one is, uh, you see a red light. This is what happened when you see a red light. You're moving. See red light as you move, as you're moving. To east. Okay, what does that mean? Again, you have three snapshot. This is your acceleration. This is your velocity. Velocity is positive. Acceleration is negative. So this is slowing down. Okay, so the equation for this one is d is equal to v i t negative half a t square. Acceleration is negative. Okay, scenario three. We want to draw the geometry first. This is d t, b t, and a t. All right, so okay, so how can we translate this to one D diagram? The car is moving to the west, and its velocity is decreasing because its acceleration is to the positive direction so the car is slowing down why is that because velocity and acceleration are not in the same direction equation is negative v uh, i t as positive a t square the last one you're gonna draw a uh, vt uh, we want to convert it to dt dt and at graph the dt will look like vt will look like and at will look like this we're gonna draw a graph 
So, so we have the velocity. So these are the velocity and these are the acceleration. So speeding up, why is that? Velocity and acceleration are the same direction. Equation negative VIT, negative half AT squared. All right, this last one was very important as it uh, help you understand uh, the kinematics graph uh, using six properties of kinematics, time, distance, displacement, speed, velocity, and acceleration.